Hi, my name is Mark Garner. And I'm John Johnson. We're the drives, motors, and MCC specialists for ES&E. Today we'll be looking at some of the features of Rockwell Automation's MCC. So John, we're standing next to the Allen Bradley Centerline 2100. Can you tell me a little bit about it, why it's called Centerline? So Allen Bradley's MCC is called Centerline 2100 because the horizontal bus is the power line that feeds the, all the sections of your MCC. Each section is comprised of individual buckets that get fed with power through the vertical bus system. We're standing next to the MCC. We've got a lot of options and a lot of buckets. So what are my options? Mark, MCCs are highly configurable with uh, different size buckets, vertical sections uh, comprised of one space factor up to six space factor sections. And each one of these sections can house a motor control starter, power monitoring, a VFD, Ethernet supplies, uh, and control logics processors. We have a lot of customers that deal with safety and want to protect their um, employees. And I see up here that we have Arc Shield. Can you tell me a little bit more information? What is Arc Shield? Allen Bradley's Arc Shield system has features that will prevent personnel from being injured in the event of an arc flash. While it's hard to determine when that could ever happen, there are some protective features designed into the system, such as double walled ins uh, steel insulation for added strength and secure relief system up on top to allow expanded gases to be expelled. Another are spring-loaded door latches, which allow relief from any gases inside of a bucket to be released without blowing the door open. There are also automatic shutters, which when a bucket is pulled out, they close, preventing any accidental touching to the vertical bus. There's two versions of Arc Shield. One is the device limited version, which protects a particular device inside of a bucket as far as time duration. And the other is a duration limited, which is the whole system itself, um, up to 100 milliseconds of protection. I see here we have Secure Connect. What does that offer to the customer? So the Secure Connect feature on Allen Bradley MCCs allows you to remove power from the bucket completely so you can safely open the bucket to work on it and even pull the bucket out. There's an Allen wrench that allows you to turn 90 degrees which disconnects the stabs from the vertical bus. That removes power to the bucket itself. And then there's also a monitor that you can stick an ohmmeter in there and there are feedback devices to tell you that the stabs have fully retracted. At that point the bucket is dead for servicing. You can pull it out, work on it, reinstall it, without having to worry about making or breaking any power connections. So there's no chance of exposing the operator to the voltage, nor eliminating the need for arc, the arc flash for happening. That's exactly right. The, 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 arc, the Secure Connect feature will allow the user to keep all the rest of the sections in operation and powered up, but the section that you're working on, when it is disconnected from the vertical bus, makes this bucket completely dead. You can open it up without arc flash PPE, and remove that bucket safely. So John, I see we have the PowerFlex 520 series. What sizes are available for that bucket? This particular bucket has a 525 in it. They're available from half horsepower up to 20 horsepower inside of an MCC. And they have various, um, they have various options, such as door-mounted hems, selector switches, and um, bypass features. Uh, bypass feature would allow you to actually run the motor across the line in the event of a drive failure. So within the bucket, can I get protection devices like line reactors, fuses, everything like that? Sure, they're high, Mark, they're highly configurable. I can turn this bucket off right now and open this up to show you what's inside of this particular unit. That'd be great. So in this unit, we have a safety relay, a 525 drive, fuse block, circuit breaker disconnect. Do we have safe torque off? 525 has embedded safe torque off, and uh, that's what's aligned with the safety relay here. There are inputs on the 525 for that purpose. And I see here next to the 520, we have the 750 series. What kind of options do I have with this? So the architecture class drives, our 750 series, are also configurable inside of MCC buckets. They give you a wider range of horsepower ratings, all the way up to 200 horsepower. And just like the component class drives, 
the different drive ratings determine the size of the buckets. Some of the higher horsepowers in the 150-200 range are frame mounted drives. They're not actually buckets that pull out and they take up one whole section. So John, I see here we have an E300 overload and I see there's a controller up here. How are they interconnected and where are they connected to? Well, the controller indicates that more than likely this is an IntelliCenter MCC. And what IntelliCenter signifies is that there are smart devices in the individual buckets as they're configured. And with an, eth with an Ethernet cable, it ties from the smart device into the trunk line to the switch that's in the IntelliCenter. That switch then provides home runs to all the devices and back to the controller. So there's an Ethernet switch, power supply, and either a compact or a control logics processor to gather data from the smart devices and bring that data to the processor for configuration, monitoring, or troubleshooting. The uh, Ethernet cables are shielded and they're rated at 600 volts. And these cables are specially designed for the high voltage applications such as an MCC. There's also an option for dual port Ethernet connection cards that allow you to do ring topology for your Ethernet network. So Mark, I have a question for you. I see a lot of customization here on some of these buckets. How does that get configured and how does a customer reference that when he wants to get some additional things? So John, that is a great question. There's many, many options that are available for each of these buckets. One thing we were able to customize each bucket to the customer's needs. Um, here we can put switches, we can put indicator lights, uh, we can actually put voltage indicators and voltage test points to verify that the voltage is not in the bucket itself. With that being said, the best course of action would be to get with your local MCC specialist and help do the configuration. For more information on MCCs, contact your local MCC specialist at ESE. Or go to our website, www.ese-co.com, for more information. <music>